We make the strings louder. How's it going, guys? And welcome to the channel. I'm here with the main man, Ash from Masters Mods. Uh, I'm, as you can see from the salt, I'm going to be fitting a new exhaust today. Actually, you've probably seen me in a previous video saying my exhaust is too quiet, my exhaust is too quiet, my exhaust is too quiet. So I want something louder. So I've got a new system to go on. Here it is. This is a section 59. Uh, which I picked up from ESM Parts. I will leave a link in the description to him. He's an absolute legend, mate. Um, he, he breaks these focuses all the time. He's always got a load of parts for them, like literally anything you need, he'll probably have. And he posted that to me. In all fairness, it was really well packaged. So it took me ages to get into it. So, you know, shout out to you, mate. I really appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear. I'm, I'm not happy about it. Even it's, it's a fairly new system. But I want to clean it all up first before I get my exhaust off so it's all nice and shiny and I ain't gonna mess around with it again. I can't, I just can't look in, I just can't put that on like that. So I need to clean it up. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna get the car in the air in the in the rat shed. So, <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, I'll get back to you once I've all done that. Well, I'm just halfway through cleaning this so you can see the difference how I've got it. So I looked before, obviously no, so yeah. We'll do that side, spin it over, do the underside of it. And then we'll look at uh, getting the car in the air. Obviously this is perfect now because um, I need to give a chance for the exhaust that's on it now to cool down. Right, <laughs> as you can see the car's in the air. Um, quite on set, please. Quite on set. <laughs> and first irregu irregularities, these. These ain't standard, so what the hell? What's going on here? Same with that side. So what I've had to do, I've had to so I know these um, are capture nuts anyway, usually. So I'm kind of hoping <laughs> to just use original threads to uh, undo this. I just screwed loads of WD-40 through the hole to try and so hopefully those threads are okay. And that one as well. But I'm going to circle back to that. Because I need to crack the rest of the system off and somehow, some way, get that off the bracket. And it just looks crusty but cross face. Right then, the plot thickens. <laughs> It's not, it's not even done <laughs> What the hell? I'm surprised it's not, it's not been blowing. That, oh, listen, I did, I have not, but you can see the, oh, look, I've not touched it. I've not touched it. I've not even sprayed it with WD-40, look. No, I've not got any tools out anyway. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, I ain't got to worry about taking that off now anyway. <laughs> oh, sweet. Right. Well, I've, I've undone that, guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna undo the uh, the decal. Obviously, that should be fr that should be sweet. Cause obviously, I replaced it not long ago. So I'll do that and try and crack this to get the centre section off. Right then, sit wrap. I've got it unbolted off the uh, the decal. So now I've got to try and get it off these rubbers. And if you know what I mean, guys, these are an absolute headache to get off sometimes. I just do not want to let go. But I'm gonna soldier on. That's a WD-40 to try and make it a bit more slippy so it will slide off. Lubrication is key, guys, remember that. <laughs> so, obviously that one there as well, I've got to do the same. But yeah, oh, this better be worth it, I swear to God. I've got it off. This one was the biggest headache ever. That one doesn't look as bad as a bit of plain on but this one, oh my God. I spent the best part of 15, 20 minutes, I'd say, maybe longer, trying to get it off. Oh, well, we've done it. And then now uh, the next one. I can't be bothered. <laughs> right, then we're off the other hanger. Now I need to somehow crack this off the back box. Try and pull it out of the sleeve. It's not letting go at all. And because it's flexy here, I can't just hang, move that bit. I've got to move this front part, which is an absolute pain. Ah, it's not even moving. <laughs> right, I'll get back to you when I eventually get it off. <laughs> Sit rep. The centre section's still on. <laughs> um, I've got that hanger off. This one, completely stuck. Rusty as hell. So I'm kind of hoping the, the new exhaust, because they're both mongooses, they should sit in the, the hangers should hopefully sit in the same position. If not, I'm going to have to go and get a six point... Uh, Suck it to undo them because I've only got a multi point. Oh, it's just that centre section is so in there. It's, I've barely moved it. 
it's it's right in there guys but uh, persevere don't we right then we are finally off that must have took me the best part about an hour and a half trying to get that absolute bastard off what an absolute nightmare it was on there tight proper tight but got there in the end just need to get the center section back out because i literally dragged the entire exhaust forward to get it from behind the car because i just couldn't rotate it underneath so i have to try and back that out there now back to the, under the car and make sure everything fits right then i have now put on the new center section although my uh, heat shield has seen better days i think all the abuse and everything what i did to it when uh, i was ripping out of exhaust isn't great but these heat shields ain't the best anyway so the new one's on obviously that's the old one and now it's the game of putting this on so yeah happy days let's see if it fits i'm in the middle of fitting it um i assumed an exhaust clamp came with it but it didn't so it's landed me in the crap a little bit uh and obviously i can't reuse really my one because my one wasn't doing anything and it's that's why it's it's rusted away and snapped so i can't use that obviously that one there it won't i doubt it'd be big enough in fact i'm pretty sure it won't be big enough because obviously this is a three inch pipe <sighs> bugger i'll try and ask a few mates see if anyone's got an exhaust clamp right we're slowly getting there been an absolute pain this is by far the worst exhaust i've ever done on any car i've never known an exhaust take me this long it's just fought me all the way and it's still fighting me now trying to get it back on <sighs> my god guys why do i do this to myself right then we're finally done it is like really late yeah. thanks to this man he's an absolute legend but this exhaust has fought me the entire way absolute nightmare um unfortunately um i couldn't locate a clamp so i'm going to order one for, to, to get overnighted and i'll just chuck that onto my but with how far the the back box has gone into the center section i can't see him being that much of a, it shouldn't blow too much but obviously once a new uh clamp comes in i'll whack that on it's it just it's basically like one of new clamps so I'm gonna have to, i won't have to take the exhaust off on that so well, let's get ready for the first start guys right then as you can see look how dark it is that's how long it's took to do this bloody exhaust <laughs> so here comes the first start i've either ruined my car or it's going to be better. Got any air plugs? Yeah. Oh my god. It's going to be terrible. It's going to sound awful. Oh god. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, that sounds nice. That's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Huh? Oh, it's definitely simple. How I wanted it. It's not. That's bow, is it? It's... Obviously, you've got to wait for it to come off choke. Right then. I'll check to see if it's blowing. No, that joint isn't blowing, considering it's got no clamp on. That's not too bad. I'll give us some little baby revs. Don't worry, it's cold, guys. That's why it's all the smoke. <laughs> That sounds low as better. See, like now it's come off choking at older, it's nowhere near too bad. And it is good. That's don't go, that don't say, oh, your, your line has got it, hasn't. It's <laughs> it's because it's cold. It's all freezing. I can see my own breath. But yeah, man, I'm chuffed with that. What I'll do is, uh, it's, it's late now, what I'll do is tomorrow, obviously you, you'll get this, you'll watch this video at the same time. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll upload a before, how it sounded before and then after, so you guys can see the difference. And then, go from that.
So there you have it guys, that is my new exhaust installed and fitted and um, I hope you guys can tell the difference because I certainly can. It's not too droney in the car at all, it's it's not much different, it's normal driving than the other one in fairness. It's a little bit louder, more you can hear it on the downshifts um, when you're coming down the gears and obviously when you put your foot down that's when it's a lot louder. But normal driving, it's perfect for me, it's just what I wanted. Um, huge thanks to Ash um, for helping me out, I, I, I really thought I was going to give up because... I was like, I just can't do this anymore. It felt because it was all stuck. Well, Ash pushed me on to get it finished. So yeah, I'm chuffed a bit till it's on. Um, obviously, I need to get an exhaust hanger, which should be here today. I'm hoping. Like, it's not blown anyway, but um, it's just, just I need to put it on anyway. I just I want to clamp on there, and I might need a new exhaust rubber for the side for that side because the exhaust rubber is just, it's just drooping a little bit more. So the, the pipe hangs a little bit lower than the, than the driver's side, so I need to get that sorted, which would be a piece of piss. Um, next week, I will do a full exhaust sound video of, of the exhaust system, or exhaust system, cold starts, flybys, stuff like that, just so you guys can really listen. Because I've put it all in this video, the video's going to be dragging on forever. It's, it's pretty dragging on already. <laughs> so, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Massive shout out to ESM Parts for supplying it me. Uh, make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, um, it really helps me out. Um, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next one.